Get a better broadcast, podcast and video voice. Hello, I'm Peter Stewart. Thank you for listening today. We're continuing our journey about marking up for scripts because a better written script and a script that is clearly marked up, preferably by yourself, is going to make it easier for you to read. If it's easier for you to read, that means you're going to be much more clear and confident and competent in what it is you're saying. It means that your stress levels are going to go down. Uh, All parts of your body are going to be less tense your voice is going to sound better you will sound better because you hear your voice sounding better you're going to perform uh, much more eloquent uh, eloquently unlike me just then and and also it means that uh, all sorts of things are going to be coming into place regarding your tone as well you're going to be much more relaxed you're going to make fewer mistakes you can see how this is a uh, a self-fulfilling prophecy so marking up for emphasis and, and more on 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 emphasis and, and what is perhaps the main kind of thrust if i can use that word a little bit later on in our whole day by day course uh, and when that comes around we're going to be looking at what words need to be emphasized and why and also why i dislike using the word emphasize now once you've heard that section you can come back and listen to this one once again and refresh your memory about marking up those words and phrases that we later on identify as the ones you need to lift or suppress now usually uh, words that you want to lift or that you want to lift rather than suppress ones you want to lift are usually written in capitals or maybe underlined or maybe a double underlining or a capitalization that's also underlined might mean something needs to be really stressed rather than just lifted, yeah? A news editor once contacted uh, me and asked me to train staff at their station because, as is usually the case, they thought something was wrong with one of their members of staff, but they didn't quite know what was wrong. And as I often do, I asked for recordings in advance, and when I heard them, I knew that intonation was an issue, but it was curious that almost all of the staff had the same problem. At first, I wondered whether they were maybe emulating each other deliberately or or, or subconsciously, and maybe an unintended station style had developed. But when I arrived at the station and I asked the first delegate for some scripts to read out loud as part of my one-to-one session, I soon realised what the problem was. That script and all of the others were written completely in capital letters. For some reason, the news editor had decided that it would be best that way, not realising that it would be the case, if you excuse the pun, that would actually cause a problem in reading with much subtlety or variance. Every script looked as though it was shouting at the reader that there was no visual clue of which words to lift or any differentiation between regular words in a sentence or those of a place, person or title. Yeah, so everything just turned out to be a whole block of text and that potentially was a bit of a problem. Suffice to say at the moment that you'll probably want to lift and therefore underline product names. The rules of intonation state that that's one of the most important words in a script. People have got to know the name of the thing that you want them to buy, and you'll lift it on the first mention, and then not so much subsequently. And other key words. In other words, ones which hold the concept of the commercial together and, and, and sell the product. Also, people's names and locations and maybe what is different. Something has not happened when people were expecting that it would have done and so on. So m- m- marking up for emphasis. Marking up for de-emphasis, and, and, and more on this later on as well in the course, perhaps put brackets around a phrase signifies that the voice needs to be dropped. The, the phrase perhaps needs to be read at a slightly faster, almost throwaway rate that the the bracketed words are a kind of aside tomorrow on the show marking up for inflection hmm so not stress or emphasis but inflection see what i did hear more about that tomorrow from london i'm peter stewart <laughs>